Well, hello there. This is Diamond from Diamond Shine. So, guys, I'm so excited that you decided to come to the studio and join me today. Today, we'll be doing something really cool. Guess what we'll be doing? Are you guys ready? We're doing pineapple upside down cake candle. This is going to smell really good. I will be using Lone Star pineapple scent. I will be mixing it with vanilla, okay? Because that's how you get that vanilla in that cream. Yes, and normally during my coaching sessions, and I'll talk about that, the coaching sessions is, is, is basically Monday through Friday, or I may have two days to schedule. Guys, it just really depends on how busy I am for that week. I may just have one day, two days. Sometimes I do $25 Tuesdays when I'm home on that Tuesday. So whenever you see my coaching session uh, calendar open, I suggest you hop on it. And that's during the week. That's for beginning candle, beginning to advance candle makers, vision and planning, wick guides, all of that. You've been struggling with wicks. You cannot get your candle to stay lit. You need to come and talk to me so we can get it taken care of. All right. So now let's get down with the get down. Okay. So basically, I'll be using my pineapples from Shafa B, Shafa B, Shafa B the B, the Queen B. You guys know who she is. Her name is Sabrina. Okay, her name is Sabrina. If you join my group, you can meet Sabrina. And let me tell you something about Miss Sabrina Butler. Okay, everything she do. Every single thing she do is in excellence. When she ship those boxes out, she ship them out with love. So she sell in beds, and guys, she's blowing up right now. I mean, to the point hey, you gotta just get her. You gotta get her. You gotta get her. Um, so I'm gonna be using some cherries from. I use a little bit of my cherries, as you can see, but I still got some left. Okay, I'm gonna use my cherries. Okay, to the last drop. Don't play with me. I'm gonna be using those cherries. I, I'm using for this particular vessel, guys. I don't know if you can find this vessel, but if you got a goodwill near you, we can write do some holiday shopping at Goodwill. Stay tuned for the videos. Make sure you subscribe so you will not miss what we're about to do. Guys, listen. Yellow. We're going to need some yellow dye. I'm probably going to use IGI 6006. I am using a two a CD8 wicks for this one. Yes, two CD8 wicks. Alright guys, let's get on into it. You will be so excited when you see this from the beginning to end. Let's do it. Alright. Okay, guys, so what I went ahead and did was uh, from the Sabrina Butler collection, I'm going to be using like a brown, uh, she got some brown crust. So I'm going to be using that crust. I'm going to bring that crust to the studio so you guys can see it. But I went ahead and poured yellow. It's like a yellow layer of IGI 6006, and it has this lovely scent. With a little vanilla mixed into it. I like Lone Star. Lone Star is pretty good. And I put my wig stabilizers to stabilize it. So I'm going to let this dry up and solidify. And once it's solidified, what we're going to do from there is we're going to put that crust down. Then we're going to pipe the top. And we're going to design this thing and make it look like a masterpiece. So be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. All right. Okay, so I got my gram. See that nice little pretty logo right there? Yes. Join the Facebook group. I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can get you some embeds from my embed lady. Yes, yeah, Sabrina Butler out here doing it real big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting a little bit of Graham. I call it Graham. She call it crumble. Um, you know, crust. Whatever. y'all. Whatever y'all want to call it. Y'all could be cute how y'all be cute. But... I'm just going to spread it around. Just going to spread it around. And mainly you want to spread it. Like the middle really don't matter. It's in the middle because her stuff is so strong that I, I do be liking to use it because I don't really scent the wax as much because her stuff is like extra strong. Like you can go anywhere and get embeds or whatever or, um, you know, crumble. But... You got to remember, everybody don't have the quality. Everybody don't take the time out to, you know, make their stuff smell good. And that's what I like about her stuff. Like, she she normally, like, scent her stuff. She got signature scent. So, you're not going to smell that scent anywhere else. Like, she's like a chemist. She know how to mix fragrances and make it smell really good. And normally, I'd be like, girl, what is that? But I don't even want to know. Like, I do not want to know her secrets. Like, her secrets is safe with her like not me like don't tell me for real i just want to keep supporting her well anyway this is how it looks before we add the whipped and the pineapples and all that kind of stuff the pineapple and the cherry and we're gonna probably take a little bit of drizzle on the top i still got some wax over here just warming up and i don't even know why 
Okay, so let's go ahead and prepare. I still got a little bit of wax left. I told y'all I've been working with this wax for a minute. I know y'all like, oh my God, when is it ever gonna be over? This is basically what I do when, it's, it's for real, for real, what it does is it prepares me for each video. Like I don't gotta sit back and wait for it to solidify. Like that sometimes can be a lengthy process and I don't be wanting to sit around waiting for it to happen. I try to make my videos as short as possible. That is the last video I just posted was 13 minutes. Like I don't want y'all sitting around at, looking at an hour long tutorial on how to do something. Like I try to make things very short and sweet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out because it done got hard and I don't have time to play with it. And when I pipe something, I want it to come out right. I want it to look good. I want it to be spectacular. Like little fizz in them. Pretty Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. All right, so I'm taking this out of this piping bag. Listen, y'all, y'all better make sure y'all saving this stuff. Don't be throwing nothing away. You can use that stuff all over again. So what I typically do is I gotta clean out this right here. Instead of me going and scraping it out and going through all that, I just pretty much take this heat heat gun and this gets all the other wax smooth as well because it kind of melts that down. So I take this heat gun and I pretty much focus it on the metal piping tip. I use the same piping tip on all of my uh, all of my creations. I never use a different piping tip. I may go buy some more of the ones I have, like this this one. I'll go buy several, but I normally use the same tip. It's no that star tip. It's just it's just pretty much the same one. All right, so that's enough. It's, it's pretty much melted down, it's soft. You want it to be like, you know, a little soft, because remember I'm telling you this old wax. I keep it in here. All right, so it's ready. Now I can go ahead and put it in the piping bag. It's right here from a mold that I already had, like a little cake mold. It's got about three pieces. I got a whole set of them but I'ma just use three because I'm already using other stuff. So let me go ahead and whisk this. I'll make sure it's nice and fluffy. I don't want it to be hard. It look like icing, like icing, like you about to rub it on a cake. I feel like it needs to be a little bit more soft because when it's softer, I can work with it a little better. So just hit it with a heat gun, and that get it a little softer. That's better. That's perfect. I know the consistency that worked for you. That consistency might have been good for somebody else, but for me, I know what works for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take it, look like icing. You see, that's perfect. It looks perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And it won't get hard in here, because I melted it down, so it's, it's gonna work. So, now I'm kind of running out of this stuff. <laughs> My little stash. That's getting low. Now this might not be enough, but we're going to try it out and see. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start piping this. And I want to—I want you guys to really see the, ins, the inside of this so you can get a better view. Okay, there we go. Now you guys can see it completely. That's my main thing. I want you guys to see it. I don't want it to be like diamond C and everything. All right, now you just pretty much go around and just decorate it. Really, just decorate it. That's what the wax is for. Go in, enjoy yourself, have fun. And at this time, you can probably like take little cake pieces and put it in there, decorate it if you want to do it that way. But that's not the way I'm going with it because I got the gram, so I really don't want to put too much. I'm gonna let that, that crumble speak for itself. Now 
Now this is a good way to decorate it because we're going to put some stuff on the top. So, all right, so now my icing want to act crazy. Sometimes you'll get a jam inside your um, piping tip. You just got to simply melt it down. That's what's happening. It's like a little jam going on in there. So just kind of melt it down a little bit just to get it to open back up because it's something that's causing it to be stuck. So just keep decorating it. And make it look so pretty. As you can see, I'm just kind of going in one little motion with it just make it look pretty now now is the fun part okay so we calling this pineapple upside down cake so we're not gonna call it pineapple upside down cake if we're not gonna put some pretty little pineapples on it and we're, we got to decorate this thing so these are my pineapples and remember who I got them from Sabrina Butler she's in a group like I told you guys so I'm putting my little pineapples on here and remember, when you do stuff like this, just decorate it the way you, you know what I mean? Don't look at mine and be like, oh, well, she used three, so I'm going to use... No, make it to where it's though, you know, you make it look like your creation. You make it look good. You know what I'm saying? And then she gave me some cherries. So I'm going to use them cherries, too. And bringing, I'm bringing this thing to life, okay? I'm going to just knock this out. Yes, Lord. Okay. Because these cherries was trying to play. They was here for play play and I wasn't here for play play. Okay. All right. So I got two cherries on it. I got pineapples on it. And now I want to go ahead and take a little bit of crumble. Put a little crumble on the top. Just to give it a realistic look. That's how you give it that look. Like put that crumble on it. Make it look like a cake. Like, oh my God. She did that. Yes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead It'd be nice, guys, if you had a spoon, like if you had a, a wax spoon, and that's what I'll probably do. I'll probably grab like a wax spoon, stick a wax spoon down on the inside of it. But here's the last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take this drizzle right here. This is yellow. I'm going to melt this down. This is the old candle. That's why I always tell y'all, save y'all candles because you will need them. Now, you can use yellow or you can use red drizzle. Because normally on the pineapple upside down cake, you got cherries and you got pineapple. So you can use either one. But I'm going to use yellow. Because I'm going to act like my pineapples is going crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to just pour it down the side. Ooh, this thing hot. Be careful. I'm going to pour it down the side. That's what you do. Just kind of pour it. Find you a side and pour like you don't want to pour it over the whole candle. You want to find you a side, a pretty, and, and just make it, just make that side your home. Now I'm gonna find me one more side, and it could either be right here, but I'm gonna make it come down this side. That way it's just coming down the whole middle of the candle. There you go. So it's it's looking like yellow drizzle. And this is a very beautiful candle, guys. This is a very beautiful candle. I want to leave my wicks a little bit big. I don't want to trim them all the way down. And when I'm finished, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, and fill in my wick right there. Fill in my wick right there. And that is beautiful. It looks so good. And this was a really quick, unique candle. Something that you could do at home, guys. Look at the gram. It is just like we doing it for the gram for real. Like... Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like, Shanae, oh my God, oh my God. It looks so good. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hit it with the heat gun because I want my cherries to be glistening, okay? Hit it with the heat gun just a little bit. Don't do too much. You get the melting stuff acting crazy. So I like it. It looks really nice. It's, it's very pretty. I want to add just a little bit more gram. Just give it a little bit more. I call it, should they call it crumble? I call it graham cracker crumble. You know, just give it a little bit more. Not too much. And this is it, guys. Go ahead, like, subscribe, do your thing. We will see you back in the studio again, okay? All right, good night, good morning, good afternoon. Bye-bye.